Donald Trump is running for re-election as President of the United States and facing accusations of inflating his asset value, the questions about the actual value of the assets he owns are increasingly paid a lot of attention. According to the latest statistics from Forbes, billionaire Donald Trump's net worth is more than 2.5 billion USD, and he is still one of the richest former presidents of all time. Born into a wealthy family, Donald Trump has had many successful real estate investments in the Manhattan market since the 80s. Before turning to marketing himself, he bought beauty contests, soccer teams, TV shows, and fashion labels. With every investment, he injects his brand with extravagance, noise, and entertainment. With huge assets, it is no wonder that he owns a series of luxurious and expensive villas and supercars. Especially among them, is the gold-plated plane worth more than 100 million USD? Are you curious and do you want to find out what's inside this billionaire's plane? Let's learn more about this with luxury style in today's video. During his time as president, Donald Trump traveled around the world by Air Force One, a Boeing 747 aircraft specially modified for the US president. Because he is a billionaire, Air Force One is not Donald Trump's first jet. Cessna Citation X, Boeing 727, and Sikorsky S-76 helicopter must be mentioned. However, the most special plane for Mr. Trump is probably the Boeing 757, as the boss fondly named it, Trump Force One. This Boeing 757 originally belonged to defunct Sterling Airways in Denmark and Tesa Airlines in Mexico. In particular, the 757 was also the plane of Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen before being sold to Mr. Trump. In 2011, Donald Trump bought the Boeing 757 for $100 million, becoming a symbol of his election campaigns in 2016. The plane featured a red T on the tail, standing for Trump, as well as a white Trump near the tip, now yellow. When elected as in president, Donald Trump was forced to use a special plane, so the Boeing 757 became the plane for members of the Trump Organization in the period of 2017-2019. In May 2021, Mr. Trump announced on Twitter that he would refurbish the plane in Louisiana and use it in upcoming meetings. However, it was not until July 2022 that the plane actually returned. Eric Trump posted a time-lapse video of the process of repainting the 757. Tyson Grenzebach, the president of Landlocked Aviation, the company which was responsible for refurbishing the plane, revealed to Seven News that the job required 40 people and took about a month to complete. The new paint color is black with an American flag on the tail. The word Trump at the front of the plane is now painted gold. Originally, Donald Trump planned to show off the newly renovated plane during his presidential campaign in 2024, but he did not expect this to be the means of transporting him to court. He allegedly paid hush money to star Stormy Daniels before becoming a president. Entering from the rear of the plane, the first thing you see is the kitchen with glassware, a sink, and a coffee maker. Obviously, this plane has room to serve delicious meals, but he showed off photos of himself eating a Big Mac hamburger and fries. Past the kitchen is the first-class cabin and dining area, with couches and a table with four chairs, where Mr. Trump regularly conducts interviews. Amanda Miller, who is in charge of marketing and corporate communications for the Trump Organization, once revealed that the seat belts and many details in the plane were plated with 24K gold, and the headrests and pillows were engraved with the Trump family crest. Moving forward, you will see the main living room, which has chairs, sofas, and a sky theater system with a 57-inch TV and sound system that recreate a Hollywood movie theater. There is also a touchscreen system that controls the sky theater, as well as a special T-list that displays Trump's favorite movies and music. The plane has a guest bedroom with wooden interior, a theater system, and two benches that can convert into double beds. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump has his own designed bedroom, a main bathroom with blue stone countertop and a gold-plated sink. The toilet seat is decorated like a living room seat, which is common on private jets. In addition to gold-plated airplanes, billionaire Donald Trump also owns a series of other gold-plated assets that make the whole world overwhelmed, including the Golden Palace in the Sky. 
Donald Trump's penthouse apartment has a valuable view of Central Park and the entire city. This had been the home of the former U.S. president, his wife Melania Trump, and their son Barron before they moved into the White House. Located at the top of Trump Tower on bustling Fifth Street, New York, the Trump family's penthouse has been making people admire for many years. Palace in the Sky was valued at up to 100 million USD in 2016. However, Business Insider estimated the value of this penthouse to be only about 54 million USD in early 2019. The apartment was designed by the late architect Angelo Donghia, inspired by the Versailles Castle in France. This is also the name behind the famous villas of legend Diana Ross, the late actress Mary Tyler Moore, and fashion tycoon Ralph Lauren. The space in the house sparkles with the luxurious light of the most expensive metal on the planet, along with details encrusted with diamonds or marble makes the apartment a luxury that is hard to match. The color of 24 karat gold adorns the ceiling, along with crystal chandeliers. In the breakfast room, the teacup to serve the owner is also made of sparkling gold, like the saucer neatly placed below. Throughout the house, you can easily see other luxurious items such as lamps, vases, cast gold crowns or marble fireplaces, fountains and diamond encrusted entrances. In 2016, New York City announced that it had to spend more than $1 million a day protecting the Trump family, especially when Barron was still going to school here. Old Plated Chopper Talking about U.S. President Donald Trump's collection of expensive cars, it would be a mistake not to mention the chopper with some 100% gold-plated parts made by Orange County Choppers in the U.S. Paul Tootle Sr. comes from the TV show American Chopper. Sr. vs. Jr. created a custom gold chopper specifically for U.S. President Donald Trump. Finished with 24K gold and custom parts, Paul Tootle Sr. also makes the car even more exclusive by attaching Mr. Trump's name to the car's engine. Paul Tootle Sr. is one of the co-founders of the Orange County Choppers motorcycle brand. Gold appears in many details of the car such as the chassis, wheels, steering wheel, and patterns on the fuel tank. This is one of the most special pieces that Orange County Choppers has made. Impressive Gilded Hotel Mr. Donald Trump owns many real estate properties across the United States, including the Trump International Hotel in Las Vegas. The hotel building has 64 floors. From afar, you can see this building stand out with its impressive yellow color. The yellow color on the building is gilded, creating an impression. Oriented as a family hotel, the four-star Trump Las Vegas has a capacity of 1,232 guest rooms and 50 luxurious penthouse suites. Each room has modern interior decoration and a comfortable kitchen. In addition to the above assets, Mr. Trump is also particularly interested in supercars. Currently, he and his wife own a series of the world's top supercars, such as Mercedes 220, SE Pontan. The 1959 convertible was shown off by Mr. Trump's wife on Instagram in the summer of 2014. SE Pontan's gasoline engine produces 118 horsepower and can accelerate 096 km h in 17 seconds. Billionaire Donald Trump's stepdaughter, Ivanka Trump, and her husband were also seen in this car. Mercedes McLaren In 2006, Melania Trump, before becoming the First Lady, appeared in Vogue magazine while pregnant with her son, Barron. She posed on Mr. Trump's jet, and below was an extremely flashy car. The car was launched in 2003 and is probably the most attractive Mercedes owned by Mrs. Melania. The car has a two-door birdwing design with 617 horsepower from a supercharged V8 engine. The car costs 600,000 USD. Cadillac Alante. Popular with country clubs in the late 80s and early 90s, the Alante, like the Mercedes 560 SL, was a favorite of the rich and famous. Mr. Trump has long liked Cadillac, and he and his wife also have a special relationship with this car manufacturer. Alante is a special gift from Cadillac to Mr. Trump, and it is painted in his favorite yellow, Orange County Choppers. Former President Donald Trump was given a custom-made motorcycle. The car's parts are made of 24K gold, and Donald's name is engraved on it. In 2014, Melania shared on Twitter about a car designed to suit her husband's personality. Rolls-Royce Phantom 
Mr. Trump's family often travels in his Rolls Royce Phantom, which starts at $500,000. Melania once showed off photos of her happy trip, with Mr. Trump driving with his youngest son, Baron, sitting next to him. The Phantom is known as a smooth car, thanks to its ability to detect potholes on the road using a camera device. When it sees an obstacle, the car adjusts its suspension to navigate away from imperfections on the road. In addition, the Trump family is said to also own a 1956 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud, which can sell for up to $112,000 depending on condition and history. Recently, Judge James Redford of the Michigan State Court has ruled that former President Donald Trump is eligible to continue participating in the primary vote for the 2024 election season in the Republican state of Michigan. This ruling came after the liberal activist group Free Speech for People filed a lawsuit against Mr. Trump. This group believes that the fact that Mr. Trump is a defendant in a lawsuit over the riot that took place at the Capitol on January 6, 2021 will disqualify him from running for president. The group invoked Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. This provision states that an individual cannot run for elected office if he or she has engaged in an insurrection against the Constitution after having taken an oath to support it. In his ruling, Judge Redford argued, determining whether the events of January 6th amounted to a riot and determining who participated in them should be deferred to the Congress. At the same time, Mr. Redford emphasized that Michigan election authorities do not have the right to remove Trump from the election. Donald Trump's campaign spokesman Stephen Chung said his team welcomed this decision and predicted the possibility of rejecting other 14th Amendment cases in the future. At the present, despite legal troubles, Mr. Trump is still a bright presidential candidate of the Republican Party. Last week, Mr. Trump's team won a lawsuit in Minnesota. In the near future, a lawsuit with similar issues in Colorado state court is expected to have results. Last month, the U.S. Supreme Court rejected the legal effort of Republican member from Texas, John Anthony Castro, to prevent Mr. Trump from running again with arguments from the 14th Amendment. In addition, Mr. Trump is also on trial on charges of plotting to overturn the results of the election in 2020. This accusation made him the first former U.S. president to face federal indictments. In several other states, he was charged with federal crimes related to his handling of top-secret government documents. At the same time, Mr. Trump was also sued by both the city and state in New York with problems related to private corporations and allegations of financial fraud. Mr. Trump has repeatedly denied these accusations. He believes they are just a part of a politically motivated witch hunt to derail his 2024 election chances. After decades of fame as a scrappy New York real estate developer, followed by a rise as a media-savvy reality TV personality, Donald Trump has tenaciously tapped into a deep sense of Americans to become the most notable political phenomenon in the past 244 years of the United States. He is also the first president not to receive a salary during his four years working at the White House. Right from the moment he took office, he was considered the richest U.S. president of all time. At the present time, Donald Trump is busy preparing for his re-election battle as U.S. president in 2024. Will the American dream once again be rewritten by this billionaire? What do you think about this? Please leave your comments below this video. See you again in Luxury Style's latest video.